we need uh, active policies, uh, whether it's employment, whether it's training. And there are also issues to do with the family that are also very important. Uh, in many cases, uh, when women choose to have families, uh, almost most of the time uh, they are not able to proceed with other professional careers because you don't have supportive institutions uh, dealing with uh, child care and so on. There are also many areas where women health really is not prioritized. Because all these are areas that we need to, to invest in and prioritize uh, 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 women. In many parts of Africa, uh, women and, uh, and girls, generally uh, females, I do face a lot of obstacles in, in the in development. And I can take a very simple case. Uh, think about uh, the issue of the main uh, source of livelihood, which is uh, agriculture, which means land. And in many countries, uh, women don't have rights to own property. Uh, they may not have a tenure, the tenership rights, uh, ownership rights. And what that means, they, will, they, are, they remain marginalized. For my case, I would say it's a person I would have known, that, uh, I knew personally was uh, Wangari Matai, uh, the Nobel Prize winner who passed away not long ago, uh, whom I knew very well, and who actually did a lot of things against odds, you know, defying government, uh, going through quite a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, suffering, uh, and, and still accomplished.